Hi everyone! So last week marked three months for me on YouTube and wow, it's been quite a ride. In today's video, I'm going to be talking a bit about why I started my YouTube channel, what I've learned over the past few months and where I want my channel to go from here. If you are new here, my name is Cara, welcome, but this is probably not the best video to start with because I'm going to be giving a little bit of a life update. So I started my channel during a lockdown here in Scotland because I find myself with a little bit of extra time on my hands and starting a channel is something that I'd wanted to do for probably around a year. I am a kind of say it, do it person, I have a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit so when I get something in my head I tend to just go for it. I also don't cope very well with not being busy or having a creative outlet so I thought it would be a great time to start as something to keep me sane and excited about during lockdown. It was also an amazing way for my family to see Ben on a regular basis when they couldn't see him in real life. I swear that probably about 50% of my watch hours have come from my family who've just been watching Ben again and again. So what have you learned over the first few months? Firstly, I want to be completely honest and say that I found it really difficult to find a balance. I feel like YouTube can so easily become all-consuming. As much as I do look at this as a hobby, you can't help but feel excited or disappointed by the number of subscribers, your view count, by the number of people engaging with your videos. I do tend to kind of ride events in life a little bit like a roller coaster. It's something that drives Thomas absolutely up the wall because my emotions are so tightly linked to pretty much everything I do in life, especially if it's something work related. I also feel that any social media platform can so quickly become a bit of an unhealthy obsession and it almost feels like you're looking for external validation that people approve of what you're doing. This is something that is completely new for me because I'm not a big social media user personally apart from sharing the odd photo album on Facebook. I've also come to realise that creating YouTube videos is a lot of work. So when you watch other people's content, you don't actually realise the amount of hours that go into preparing something, filming something and the late nights editing, especially when you've got a toddler running around. It is just so time consuming. I know that I'll probably get quicker all of this as my content creation skills improve, but wow, it has just taken up so much time. I also think I've learned how to talk to camera. That is actually something so crazily unnatural that I never thought about before I started filming. I actually made a few videos before I uploaded anything to YouTube just to practice that. And also now when I look back on my first YouTube videos, I think that I do now feel and look and sound much more comfortable than I did at first, but I've got a long way to go before I feel completely relaxed to doing it. I think I'm also learning what people want out of my YouTube channel by looking at analytics and seeing who's watching my videos, how long they're watching them for, which of my videos are getting lots of views. It kind of helps me to work out where my channel's going to go and what its purpose is. I actually have a super long list of video ideas, things that have just been coming to me over the past few months that I'm excited to make for you and share with you in the future. I learned pretty quickly that YouTube itself is an absolute minefield. There is just so much to it and I know that people make entire businesses and careers out of helping people be successful on YouTube but it definitely requires so much dedication, so much learning and so much time to really get your videos out there. I do absolutely love learning new skills but it is just so time consuming to fully learn everything you can about this platform. Most importantly, I've recently learned to take a bit of a step back and look at the channel and look at what I really want to get out of it. And for me, for the moment at least, that is definitely to record some beautiful family memories, to really work on my content creation skills, because that's something that I can take into other parts of my life as well, and to build a community. I think that's my favourite part of YouTube so far. I have so enjoyed engaging with lots of you like-minded parents. I've also really enjoyed meeting other YouTube mummy content creators here on this platform and I feel like as a parenting community we can support one another and we just have so much to learn from one another. It's awesome. So where's my channel going to go from here? As lockdown restrictions are starting to ease and I have more and more other commitments, I've decided to change my upload schedule. So I'm going to just be uploading one video a week on a Friday and from time to time I might be able to add some bonus uploads in there too. I just feel that this will allow me to deliver one really good quality video a week, something that I'll be really proud to show you but also allow me to just enjoy and make the most of all the other parts of my life as well. I have had so much fun making these videos so far and I definitely 
don't want to stop but I also need to focus on work, on a house move. Actually when you see this video tomorrow we'll be moving house which is something really big and exciting for us and of course I need to focus on my little family which I am just so incredibly thankful for. I'm also so grateful for you, my subscribers, regular viewers, people who watch and engage with my content. You're all amazing and thank you so much for being here. Going forward, I am going to be making lots more toddler activity videos. They are my absolute favourite to make with Ben. Recently, I've also really been enjoying the kind of sit-down parenting chatty videos that I've been doing with Thomas. It's just so fun to sit down and talk about the experiences of being parents so far. I've also loved sharing my bilingual parenting journey and that's something I want to continue to do. And now that Scotland is opening up a little bit and we're allowed to travel a little bit further, we'll also be giving you lots more family adventures. With our house move happening, we are planning toddler room renovations and we just have so many exciting ideas to make our new home somewhere really exciting for Ben to grow up. I really hope that you will stick around for these videos that will be coming out once a week. Thank you so much for your support so far. I really appreciate every single one of you. I will now see you on a Friday at 7pm GMT. Bye bye.